Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mystical Prime, or you can just call me Taren, and today, I, this is something that is kind of dearest to me, I guess, and that is being on a team. Um, it can be anything from being a part of a club, the group project that you have, or being a part of a sports team, those are all teams. And I want to focus this more on sports in school, because... Me personally, I'm a very big advocate of being a part of sports teams. I've been on all this. I've been on a lot of teams in my high school and my middle school. But I, what I excel at the most is track and field, and cross country and soccer. Those are the three sports I excel at. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I have friends at my school that I've known or that I've seen this happen to other people before, where they don't want to try out for something because they don't think they're good enough. And I know a lot of you guys are gamers, and what I'm not, and I know this is kind of like stereotyping. You know, I'm a gamer too, but the typical gamer stereotype is we don't, we just sit on the couch all day and we play, we just play games. And I'm not saying you guys do that, but what I'm saying is, I know there are some of you that wanted to try out for that cool football team or that soccer team, or wanted to go out for the cross country team, but was too afraid because you weren't good enough. And from for me personally, um, I I'm I I like to think that I'm above average when it comes to cross country and track and field. Um, but you know I've gotten a lot of second place medals, third place medals, and I have one first place medal sitting up right there. I'm looking at it right now. I'm very proud of all my achievements and of all the ribbons and trophies I've gotten. And from coming from someone like me, I love to see people come out and just be on the team. You don't have to be the best. To be a part of the team. The fact that you're on the team is good enough in my opinion. Because when you're a part of a team. It's just, it's just some kind of dynamic. I don't know what it is with us humans. But you feel welcomed. And I know this is dependent on the high school you go to. Because if you go to a high school. Where there's a lot of negativity. Where people make a lot of, make a lot, like make fun of each other. And you know, if there's a lot of clicks and stuff. You know, People have their own little social groups. Then I understand. But the one I go to. Uh, it's a really good place. It's one of the best schools in Toronto, which is where I live, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I think it's the second or third ranked school in the city. It has over like 5 million people. So it's a really good school. Uh, a lot of great kids. And I know not everybody is fortunate enough to have these kind of schools, but I still think that you should go out and try out for your teams. Because, first of all, high school only happens once in your life. Uh, you have to make sure you do everything that you can possibly do in high school. Make the most out of it. Because the one thing I don't want you guys to regret when you come out of high school is the fact that you could have had way more fun. Because I, I promise you guys, when you hit 20 or 30 years old, you're going to be like, wow, I really wish I tried out for that basketball team or that soccer team. It would have been a ton of fun, even if I was just on the bench. You know, it's, it's not a big deal, guys. I'm horrible at basketball. I tried out. I made the team. I didn't play. I played like once. I got a goal, and the coach switched me off. Like I got one basket for fun, and then my coach switched me off, and they put our players on again. And you got, you got, you have to, you have to have fun with it. That I think that's the problem with people. They think like if they want to try out for a team, you have to be the best. You don't have to be the best. I was never the best uh, from a basketball team. I was honestly the worst on the team, but I tried out for fun. I had fun trying out. I went to all the practices, and honestly, I can say that I got better from being on the team than when I wasn't. And the coach had a lot of fun with me too, you know. He would throw me on sometimes in the game just to watch me play. You know, I'd get a point and then I'd come off and he put our good players on just so we can win. You know, sure, it's a little bit of like a like an insult, but I took it as a joke. Like, it, it's not a big deal, guys. I want you guys to try out. And I'm not some genie. You know, you, know, you guys are probably thinking, well, how would you know that I'm gonna regret this? When I'm 20, 30 years old, I won't. I won't know. I honestly won't. But from the experiences that I've heard from other teachers, other adults, and other uh, YouTubers that I've listened to, you know, I like to listen to a lot of people's high school regrets. I think I've mentioned this in one of my commentaries. I love to know people's high school regrets because when you know that, then you can make sure that you don't do what they did. Because you only get to go to high school once, guys. I promise you. High school is one of the best years of your life. 
And the only way that they can be one of the best years of your life is if you make that happen. And the only way to make that happen is to be a part of a team, to be part of a sports team or even clubs. You don't have if you're if you're so but like no I shouldn't say butthurt, but if you're so so against going out for a team, join a club. Join the chess club, the Yu-Gi-Oh club, the Pokemon club, whatever club that you're interested in. <laughs> I said Pokemon, but our school has a Pokemon club. Isn't that hilarious? What, comment below, actually. What what kind of clubs do you guys have in your school? We have a Pokemon club. It, it's it's pretty legit, and we have like all these uh, ethnicity clubs too. Like there's a Persian club, a Chinese club, a Korean club. There's like hundreds of clubs in our school. In my school, personally, like we have a pretty active school. So I guess this is why this commentary is easy for me to say because my school is very active when it comes to being a part of clubs and teams and stuff. But I but I know for a fact that a lot of schools aren't like that. You know, they have the jocks, the cheerleaders, and the really snobby kids that that think that. They're the OG kids on the block, and I always say this a lot. I always say OG kids on the block because I don't know. I just like to say it. But the point is, is that just being a part of something makes high school so much better. I promise you guys. I promise you. I'm in grade 11. You know, I've been through grade 9 and grade 10, and in grade 9, I was on every single sports team possible in my school, and I actually got a reward for that, and it's sitting right up there on my wall it's called the gold scorpion award because our school was called st andrew scorpions like our like our team was called the st andrew scorpions right so it's called the gold scorpion award and you get that for being the most participated student in sports and clubs and i got that award and i'm proud of it because it showed that you know i i, I put contributions into the school and that's what you guys have to do be a part of your school be a part of it. You'll, it'll make you love the school even more. I miss that that school that I went to because I moved to another school. But, you know, I'm enjoying the school I'm in right now. And I just want you guys to enjoy it too, you know. I I, I feel like um, I, have, I can change some people's minds. Maybe if I can just change one person's mind, that's better than changing no one's. So go out for your team, guys. You don't have to be the best. And if, you just, if you're so against that, just join a club. You'll meet a lot of new people. And high school really is what you make it. But I'm Mystical Prime, or you can just comment here and link in the description below. You can go ahead and check me out. I upload every single day. And this player is a beast at this game. But I'm going to go now. So I'll see you guys later, I guess. Goodbye. A thousand stars are in this sky.